searching for my Fenric. He was marching with you cause men, who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over every body though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. Rookie, where is she? Fenric, you're alive. Of course I am. What brings you here? I had heard that Gukar's men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle isn't expected until tomorrow. Rookie, what's going on? I am so confused. What's happening? It doesn't matter. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be forever, 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 forever. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and salutations to you. Kluger welcomes you back to another episode of A Tale of Reluctance with Thrawn, the NPC. As always, I hope you have been fantastic and well. I as you may well know, have not been too 100% well. I have been under the weather with a really, really bad cold, which is why, if you didn't see my vlog, that's why I've been out of action for the last little while. That, and of course, Christmas or the holidays have meant I've had um, no opportunity to record before now, but I'm fine. Look, I'm still not 100%, so bear with me if I cough or sniffle or sound a little bit nasal, I apologize, but I'm, I feel well enough to be able to do this. And that's what counts, right? So I was actually starting to really miss this whole storyline here. Uh, and I'm really stoked to be back in action. So I thought I would skip ahead just a little bit, keep the storyline moving. So as you saw from that little opening montage, Ron reunited the lost lovers. Now we'll get into gameplay mode here. And now we're just here to let what's her face know that we did the thing and now hopefully we get a real amulet of Mara because I did some testing and it seems like the quest amulet of Mara that we have right now doesn't work yet. So we, I think, have to finish this quest before that's possible. And thank you to um, several of you who recommended the Bee and Barb if you need to go and just buy an amulet of Mara. I didn't realize that's where it was, so my thanks to you guys for letting me know. But we'll Lady talk to Dinya. You You're very rude. What is it you seek, my child? I help the long dead lovers find each other, don't you know? Your efforts have helped <laughs> illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Oh my gosh, it's so comprehended. Carry the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Okay. Agent of Mara added. Okay. So, so we could do additional assistance. Riften is drowning in a sea of sin and wickedness, and it's my personal mission to let everyone know that the warmth of Mara can see them through. All I need is a messenger to bring her words to these poor souls by distributing these missives. Uh, look, Ron likes Myra, but he's not going to be some paperboy. Good journey, my child. So, look, I'm a bit busy right now. So, um, we got... I don't know what the agent of Myra actually is. Is that a book? Or... So, we've got an amulet of Myra. It hasn't changed at all. So, that should work, right? It better freaking work. Um, what am I looking for? Is it a weapon? <laughs> or is it just like a title sort of thing? I don't know what that actually is that we got. Agent, it said Agent of Mara added. It could just be like a status kind of thing, you know? Uh, how do we, how do we, how, how? General stats? Quest, combat, magic, craft, and crime. Lol, crime. We've probably done some things. Um, or... One la is it an active effect? Fortify Persuasion, Imperial Luck, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you guys probably know. You'll tell me by the time I upload this episode, so. <laughs> um, okay, so that should be working now, as, as far as I'm aware. So, hmm? yes. is it not now just you talk to any valid NPC and they will marry you? I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to work, right? Maybe I need to remove it first, and then I'll, I'll put it back on. Apparel. So, Bink, it's off. Now, pretty much anyone should be a valid NPC, right? Good to see you. Whoa. Finally okay. Someone useful is around. More vampire attacks and a hobo died. Hmm. What do you want? 
So, burr. So, I mean, theoretically, even males are, are eligible, right? This is purely testing. This is not canon. This is not storyline for Ron, okay? Calm down. What a boring conversation. Yes, yes, I No, he's not interested. Day. It's a fine day with you around. So she's into me, but I can't seem to, like, propose to I her. I wish I could go with you. Oh, why she got orchid shower? Hook, hook, hook a brother up. Yeah. I'll take those ones, too. And your gold, obviously. <sighs> Have anything interesting to tell me? I want you to marry me. I have to figure that out later, maybe in a cutaway, because um, that could be relevant later on in this episode. Let's, we'll just try. Heed my words. So we found the bee and Bob. Turn of the dragons is not my skill in battle is unmatched. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your conduct. Uh, so looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbird. Embrace the I don't have any of business with the handmaiden of so get out of my no, no, Mara, Mara. Blessings of Mara upon you. Ha, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I want you to know. I want... Wonderful. Where to begin? So this is Mara, Mara. I think Mara this is the guy. Is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Could I have a wedding at the temple? I could have a wedding at the temple. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Uh, why don't you remind me? <laughs> Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. There we go. All right. So, Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they. So hopefully now. Sorry, I was listening no, to him talk. Hopefully now that activates the whole. The uh, marry me, please. Never done an honest day's work. Oh, bring you off, mate. You're big. You want to my make skill in battle is unmatched. <laughs> Fortunately for you. That skill can oh, this is funny. Out. I don't have Just any keep business. No, she don't want to marry me. Right, back outside. Oh my gosh. It is so dang noisy in there. Do you want to marry me? Huh? What do you want? No? I'd better get going. <laughs> so, someone has to marry me. Please marry me. You'll marry me. Yes. No, you'll marry me. Have anything interesting to tell okay, me? I'll figure this out later. I Wait, I am I even wearing the amulet right now? Apparel. Yeah, I, I totally am wearing the amulet of Mara. Go with you. I can't imagine how exciting it must be to journey from place to place. You're so lucky. She's so into me, bro. Anyway, this is I not what we're, we're doing today. At least not right now. Um, I'll actually put a meaningful... Which one have I been using? Amulet of Kinnereth. No. No. We don't shout. <laughs> Come on, mate. I guess that's the only one we've really got that um, is useful right now. The amulet of uh, Kinnereth. Um, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Am I even wearing rings right now? Increases light armor? No, that's useless. Uh, pff, we're not even wielding any light armor stuff. Um, okay, anyway. So, Ronaru has been doing a little bit of reading in our time off, and he has learned more about Meridia. Uh, you may recall, maybe one or two episodes ago, uh, I'll show you. No, sorry, wrong thing. Um, we've got the Break of Dawn quest, because we found Meridia... When we were doing <coughs> the quest for Clavicus Vile, we stumbled across... Meridia's whatever thing. Meridia's beacon. So, our our mission today... Ron, like I said, he's, he's hit a couple of libraries. He's done a little bit of casual reading here and there. And he has learned about Meridia being um, someone of relevance, if you follow my meaning. So, we're going to head to Mount Kilcreath. See what, see what Meridia is all about. Because... Um, not to, hopefully I won't be making a fool of myself by saying this in advance, but I'm fairly sure she is, of course, one of the, the Diedrich God people things that is going to help us overthrow the Overlord. So we're going to see what she's all about. So, um, I think it's, it's a fair journey, if I'm not mistaken. It's all the way up here. Oh, we've got to head back near Solitude. Classic. We will visit some of our old friends, but um, I'm going to meet you there. <laughs> it's a fair ways to go. And um, we will have a chat and see what she wants. We need to wipe them out before things get worse. Shh. All right. See you there. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. 
If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Okay, so we made it. Sorry for the abruptness of that, but um, basically I really screwed up getting up here. Uh, <laughs> so I really had to... I was on the wrong level, basically. I took the wrong route, so I had I, I was stuck down below, couldn't really mountain hop up, so I had to really finagle my way up. Um, and that was painful, but anyway. Also, because of the way I came up editing make bad, but here we go. We're going to do the beacon now. Oh, snap. Okay. This is normal. It is time for my splendor to return to Skyrim. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. Now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. The necromancer Malkarin defiles my shrine with vile corruptions, trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the Defiler. Look, Meridia. We've got you back. We'll do it. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. Malkarin has forced the door shut, but this is my temple, and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light, guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. Okay. Can I get down now, maybe? Can we third person this? Ah, oh, that would have been so cool. Okay, so she all mad. God Meridia's light through the temple. It's apparently just here. So we've probably got to go in there and do the thing, right? Yeah, okay. Well, we'll do it. Let's do the thing. Let's cleanse the temple. Uh, but I need an AFK. <laughs> but you won't know any difference. We'll see you in there. Now, if anyone happened to be wondering, just from a um, real-life perspective, um, I just had to go cough and blow my nose and... Oh, God. And, yeah, cough my guts out and stuff, because I'm still not 100%, so... <laughs> talking at, the, at this capacity, for this, like, this frequently for so long, is, um, it's still a little bit of a challenge for me, but... We will persist, we will go on. <clears throat> There's not too much episode left. See, look at my voice just die. Alright, let's get ready. Things gonna be happening in here, which Ron don't like. But he's getting a little bit wily, did you notice? I chose my dialogue option very carefully, because... Inst he didn't argue with Meridia. He's just like, "Yep, we'll do the thing," uh, because he needs he he's he's getting a little wily, a little clever, and, and is using um, the situation to to meet his own ends rather than just you know be all, "Oh, why you put me in this scenario for?" Okay, that what where where Lever? Dude, there's dead dudes. There. There's so much gold on these dead people. What a bargain this quest is. So there's a hallway down there. <clears throat> Door here with a block picking. Adept. Ron is adept. Not really. There's not a strong suit. Alright, we need it. Oh, we oh, mate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Easy. EZ. Alright, what's. Come on. Let's just go. Yep. Ugh. Not really. Not really worth it. <laughs> That's cool. And then we know which way we gotta go. So. Stealth ninja mode, even though we're heavy armored. Um, because that's how Ron rolls, as we've discussed. As we Oh god, spine! That is a spine! Um, oh god, have we- how are we going for potions? Not too bad. Not too bad. 
We will we'll still have to see how we go. Um Where are the things to kill? I don't like the looks of this. Do we just take that? We did something. What do? Did I make it worse? Can't I can't activate it again. Okay. What exactly are we doing here? God already has light through the temple. I'm sure that we just did something helpful. Right? Probably. Let's just keep going through the thing. I can't do anything else there, so... Oh, gosh. I wonder if this is going to end up being another long-ass long episode. Oh, God. What are those? Quick save. <laughs> Yeah, this is normal. This is fine. Um, yeah, I was there. Yeah, okay. Oh Jesus! Look at those eyeballs. Okay, they're not very strong. They just look creepy as frick. Oh, that block. I guess we can't decapitate corrupted shades. All right, but these guys would be dangerous in large groups. Like, oh yeah, bone meal. Um, I could see them being worrisome. What? 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 Ganked. <laughs> yeah. Do you even have a melee weapon, bro? I'll oh, steal that. I couldn't even see it, bro. You gotta, uh, you gotta work on your combat chops, mate. Just, just saying. All right. So another thing. I guess we're just gonna keep walking through. Okay, so it just keeps bouncing through to the next bit and so on and so on like that. Um, yeah, money, money, run knows what sells. Good job, quick saving again. <laughs> Ooh, Ern has a thing in it, four gold. Money, money, money. Stealth, stealthing again. Um, can I activate this watchman thing? No. Can I activate that watchman thing? What? Oh, okay. There's, there's something here. Huh? Dang it, man. Like, doing these quests that you can't remember because you haven't done in a million years on camera is, like, real nerve-wracking. <laughs> <sighs> there's, like, something over here, too. Oh, come on. I landed on this thing quite clearly. Yeah, classic. Classic pathing. Come on. I did it again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is um this is getting awkward. I may cut away in the interest of saving time on camera. Like this is another room thing. There's a potion of filter thing right there. I'm obviously just, oh, oh. <laughs> it's fine though. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, come on, bro. Swing at me. As if that wasn't a better block. Bloody rubbish, that. Whiff. I'm just gonna loot your friend. Dancing all day, bruh. Dancing all day. Oh, whiff. Whiff city. As if that didn't stagger. No, he, he did nothing. He dared. Oh, it's just a... Okay. I'm on the ball. I'm with the program. Man, Meridia's beacon noise is super annoying. Just saying. And <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, more doors. Very good. Um, um... Seems all too easy. Did I miss that gold? I totally did. Give me that. So, oh, there's another corpse. Yeah, give me that gold, bruh. This is, I feel like this is trapped for some reason, even though it doesn't actually appear to be. Scroll of my. Ooh, yeah, give it. Embalming cool. Standard. Okay. Oh, yeah, hello. Hello, Gov. That was a pretty good block, mostly deflecting that damage. Oh, mate. Ron's getting his skills on. Man. Whew. Baby. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, it looks like that'll be the next beacon we gotta give the old switcheroo. Burial urns. Yeah, it's gold and whatever. Another bloke over there, but let's get, let's just do the old hop, skip, and a jump. Get that rolling. Okay, I've got to go there and then. Oh. Mate, I'm mid jump. You can't you can't go doing that. Oh, you got the double swing in you. You did. You did. You're a foolish ghostly remain with one steel arrow. Classic. Don't need your dang bow. Your bow is a chump. I'm just checking if there's other loot here. There is another loot there, but how how get? How get the loot? Oh, okay. We just pick another lock. First try. EZ. Next. What do you has? <laughs> okay, moving on. We're actually doing not bad for time here. I'm quite impressed. I'm looking at my timer and we're, like, we'd be a little bit over, but there's, there was a lot of dead air in the recording, so... Um, because I was, you know, cutting away and doing... and blowing my nose and things. So... we did it? No, we're not done yet. Okay. Ooh, another chest. A big one. Yeah. Expert? Dang it, man! Oh, yeah, now this'll be fun. I thought it actually moved a bit there. No. Oh, he's in the ballpark. I'm feeling it. Oh, god dang it. Oh! I want to cut away. I really... I need to get this. Nope. Okay. Come on. Last try on camera. Alright, alright, I'm gonna cut away, more dead air, uh, I'm gonna get this, be back in a sec. Oh dang! Got it! <laughs> it actually took me like only two more tries off camera. Oh baby! Don't worry, there was just a bunch of gold in there, it wasn't that good, but still, it's the dang principle of the thing. Let's go. Alright. We are expecting the worst. What is next in here? This is a longer quest than I was hoping for, to be quite frank with you. <laughs> There's another thing I wanted to do today, but... I don't expect we're going to make it. Or maybe I'll just do the typical, make the episode longer anyway type thing that we usually do. Because that seems to be a, a Kluger signature. Alright, you don't go, I'll go first then. At least these guys don't do very much damage. Oh yeah, you get staggered from my blocking skills. Get on the ground, dumb idiot. There's something over there we need to go and attend to through those doors, requiring a key. And I suspect we've got to get up there too. I blocked that. Bloody rubbish, mate. Get on the ground. Where's your, where's your corpse? No, I don't want your sword. I want, I want this guy though. Give me your coin. Um. Ow! What? Where's shoot from? Up there somewhere. Sneaky son bitch. All right, stairs. Come on, give me a something. It must be. It must be from here. It's the only logical explanation. But we can't go past there. Is there ah, oh, there's a hallway back here. Yep. Whoa, that's a big fancy thing. We have more chumps to fight. I'm getting well sick of you blokes. Just your easy kill, you're just getting in the way. Um now nah, come on, let's just keep moving here. Let's just, we gotta keep the things moving. Ah, yeah, nice try. I'm all over that. What'd this do? Did I fix something? I don't know. This is all too much for poor old Kluger. Okay, we made it to the next thing. Where's that dude that was shooting us before? Anyway. Is everyone happy now? Oh, there's another beacon up there. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Oh, there he is. Hiya! 
Get get a stagger. You dummy. Man, I forgot how, I forgot how ugly these dudes were. Holy smokes, give me that. So I hope I've got this right. This see how well I haven't killed this dude yet, so we we're onto something. Dude, excellent block. Oh, as if you didn't get a stagger on. Get out of my face. Sheesh. That steel warhammer though. Spank me good. Ow! You dang wise guy. Yeah, what? Archers aren't a strong, bro. Yep. Worth it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Alright. Where's this dang quest end? Holy smokey. Alright, there's the last thing. Hopefully, maybe? Come on, fool. Did we do it? Yeah, the door. Ouch! That should be filling me with Meridia's love, not injuring me. <laughs> uh, can we do a shortcut job? No. We'll do it the normal way. Okay. Okay, I think we did all the things. What the, what's that over there? Very easily distracted, is Ron. It's not me. Okay, enduring something something. Alright. Come on, fools. Hiya. Now. Okay, the next thing. This is a very long place to quest through. Man, oh man. Nothing? Really? I mean, we'll go with it. But you got extra gold just lying around. Just keep activating them beacons. Give me this. What in there? Four gold? Must be my birthday. What over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, we must be we must be coming to a conclusion here. Confirmed. Ha 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 ha! Oh, man, he's got like 80 million assistants. Going the aggro route. Okay. Yep. See if we can take out his ads first. I don't want to get sucked into a fight out and t take multiple ones at a time. Alright, it's going pretty good. We'll, uh, we'll play on the safe side. We'll take one potion. Come on, fool. As if I didn't block more damage there. Sheesh, bro. Alright. Oh, what in the world? Okay, take two. We were going so well. That's so annoying. Stupid Malkaran. God dang it, man. We had him real good. And then we just got stuck out in the hall for a little bit too long. Alright. Apparently that's not a thing we want to happen. Okay. Yep, yep. I know we're kind of gaming this a little bit. Oh god, he's after us. If we can keep him on the stagger, though. Um. That is doing a thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Potions. Potion of resist. Have we got resist frost? Of course we don't. Wow! Okay, I don't know if I can do this. Okay, so, sorry, I've been doing it off camera because it's going to take me a few goes. Um, we do have a uh, resist 20% of frost damage for 60 seconds. Ice Wraith, Ice Wraith, Ice Wraith Essence. I don't know if it's going to help. 
Seems to be. Ah, uh, what the heck? Where's my shield gone? Wow. It is done. The Defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. Oh, guys, I'm sorry you didn't get to see much of the fight, but it was really boring, really painful, really frustrating. <laughs> he is ridiculous. It was a lot of kiting, hiding around Gorn. You know, you know the drill when there's a dude you can't beat. It took me like 10 goes, man, but... Oh, my gosh. All right, we, we made it. We freaking made it. <laughs> but Ron, of course, in the storyline, Ron nailed it first go easy, no problem. Um... <laughs> Kluger and stupid Skyrim with his crazy difficulty spike didn't. So, um, we did it though. Give me the thing. So we've got Dawnbreaker, which I think is a sword. Shut up, phone. This again. Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. That is true. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. I can do that. Kind of. I will wield the mighty blade in your name. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. Sucker. Oh, well, look, I guess we're using it for the right purpose if we, um, you know, trying to take down the Overlord. Wah, ah, ah. So, I'm pretty sure it's just a, it's a sword, right? It's pretty nice. <laughs> we have no sword skills. Um... Look, we'll favorite it. Um, we'll use it in certain situations and all that sort of blighty blighty blue. Um, look, we will we will have to leave it there, unfortunately. I had another thing to try this episode, but I'll, I'll mess with it off camera and maybe we'll start next episode with it. It'll be fun. It'll be good. It'll be great. With our newly found amulet of Mara, of course. <laughs> um, I, wait, we've got to wield the Dawnbreaker for the end of this episode. Sheesh, man. Oh, but wait, when we got this out, we can't do the thing. Because we're in combat and whatever. <laughs> um... But, ladies and gentlemen, we will leave it there. Thank you so very much, as always, for tuning in. And thank you for bearing with me during my brief absence um, from the U-Tubs. Uh, but we're back in action, and it's great times. I'm just trying to get a good placement for my screenshot while I'm talking to you at the same time. <laughs> so make sure you leave likes and comments down below. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I shall be sure to talk to you all again real, real soon. So, without further ado, my name is Kluger, and you have a great day freaking day.